Hello dear students, in today's class, let us study the working mechanism of a stroboscope. So a stroboscope is, a, is an instrument that is used to measure the frequency of an object, of a rotating object. So the advantage of this instrument is that we could measure the system, the frequency of the rotating system without even touching or affecting the system. So for that, we use, usually use a flashing light. And suppose this is a rotating object, a fan. So to understand its working, throughout this class, I will be using these terms. The rotating frequency will be denoted as F, which is the rotational frequency of the object. And let us denote the frequency of the flashing light, which is the number of light pulses produced per second, or which is also called as the stroboscopic frequency as N. So before we move on to the working mechanism of a stroboscope, let us see an experiment demonstrating this stroboscopic effect. So here we are observing a fan which is rotating at a constant speed. But we are observing this fan under a flashing light and the flashing light is pulsating at a specified frequency. And we are varying that frequency. So as you can see, the fan appears to be moving at different frequencies. And sometimes even it is, it appears to rotate backwards. And now it appears to be standing still. And it is now rotating backwards and so on. So this pseudo effect is called stroboscopic effect, where even when the rotating frequency of the rotating object is a constant, it appears to have a different frequency. So now you can see the leaves of the fan appears to be some multiple of the real number. It appears to have six leaves and so on. So let me ask you one question. Can you guess the reason why we observe this stroboscopic effect? Can you try to explain why the stroboscopic effect happens? So all this while the fan was rotating at the same frequency, but the reason why we observed it at different, observed it to be rotating at different frequency was the effect of this flashing light. So the video that we just now saw was done by Mr. Ajay Ajit and I give full credits to the YouTube channel of him. I can see the link in this description of this video. So I hope that you go to broad understanding about the stroboscopic effect and the instrument that we saw in that particular experiment is the stroboscope. So the basic working diagram of a stroboscope can be understood like this. It consists of an oscillator, a flasher and a reed. The oscillator produces fixed frequency signals and the frequency can be varied and that, that frequency is fed into a flasher which produces flashing light. So the flasher will be producing flashing light with n number of pulses per second and that n will depend on the oscillating frequency of the oscillator. The rate here is to calibrate the instrument. The rate produces fixed frequency signals say at about 7200 Hz or something and it can be used to calibrate the whole instrument. So now let us try to understand the mechanism of the stroboscopic effect. So as we have seen, while performing this experiment, sometimes we observe single still image of the fan. And that happens when the frequency of the stroboscope and the rotating object exactly matches. For example, suppose if this is the fan that we are observing or the rotating object, and we fed a flashing light onto the system and we observe this fan under the presence of this light. Now the second pulse from this light comes after this fan executes one complete rotation. So again this fan will be at exactly the same position because it has it rotated exactly one time during this period. And the third pulse from this light or from this stroboscope comes exactly after the fan rotates the third time. 
So the fan is again back at the same position when the light flashes. So I hope you all know about this effect of our eye which sustains an image in our eye for about 1 by 16 of a second. We call it as the persistence of vision where even when the object is seen only, about, only at a period of 1 by 16 of a second, we continue to see that for that much time. So what we see for a very small duration of time is actually visualized as something that is persisting for 1 by 16 of a second. So in this experiment, this flashing light led us to see this fan only during certain time. And at all that time, the position of the fan is exactly at this point itself. So what we see is that this fan is fixed at this point and the fan is not at all rotating as we saw in that video. So this happens when the frequency of the rotating object or the fan F and the number of pulses are exactly equal. Because this pulses comes only when the fan is at the fixed point. Now this effect can also be observed if the number of pulses is 2 times n, sorry the rotating frequency is 2n, 3n and so on. Because when the rot rotating frequency is 2n, when the fan executes two full oscillations, the pulse will be pulsating one time. In that condition also, we will be seeing this fan exactly at the same point. The only difference is that the fan underwent two complete oscillations, two complete rotations between that time. So during these relations between F and N, we will be observing the still image of the fan and the fan will appear to be not at all rotating. It is due to the persistence of vision and also due to the reason that the stroboscope frequency and the rotating frequency are matched like this. Now sometimes the fan will appear to have more number of leaves than present. Let us analyze these cases. So suppose this is a rotating object with a fixed point mark here and it is rotating like this. We are observing this point with a flashing light and the flashing light and the rotating frequency matches exactly. In that case, you will be seeing this point fixed at what specific, form, specific point. So even when the body is rotating, this point seems to be fixed there n equal to f that is the condition that we have already mentioned. Now what will happen if n equal to 2f? That means when the body execute one full oscillation f which is f the number of pulses is 2 that means the pulse will pulsate or flash light two times in between this rotation that is at this point and also at the opposite point. So as a result, you will be seeing two fixed points of this rotating object. Similarly, if n equal to 3f, when the rotating body makes one complete rotation, number of pulses will be three times. That means you will be seeing this particular point three times during this specific rotation. And it is repeated again and again. And due to persistence of vision, this body seems to have three different points. The fact is that only one point is marked here but you see it at three different points and your persistence of vision makes you to believe that there are three points. Similarly, if there are, if n equal to 6f, you will be, you will be seeing six different points. So this is how the frequency of the rotating body and the number of pulses produced by the flashing light are related. Now as we saw in that video, sometimes the rotating object will appear to rotate in the opposite direction. The fan, even when rotating in a clockwise direction, will appear to rotate backwards. This happens when the frequency of the rotating body and the stroboscopic frequency are out of tune. If f is lesser than n, then the body will, rotating body will appear to rotate in an opposite direction. 
so even before the body completes one full rotation the pulse will be flashing and you will be seeing this particular body before making a full rotation that means the body is observed at a backward point and again during the next pulse the body is not able to complete its rotation and so it appears to move a little backward so this is the first point then during the second flash the body was not able to make up to that point we observe it here the body is rotating like this so the body was not able to make one complete rotation so we observe it here again during the third pulse the body was not able to finish that rotation so we observe it maybe here so as you can see the red green and blue these are the successive points that we visualized so it appears to rotate backward even when the body is rotating in the clockwise direction when we observe it at a flashing light with this relation f less than n the body will appear to rotate in opposite direction and if the frequency of the rotating body is greater than n then the rotating body will appear to rotate along the same direction but maybe with a slower frequency slower time period for example this is the initial point that we saw after a little time it will make com one complete rotation and a little bit more when the second flash flashes so we will be observing that point here in fact this body has made one full rotation and has moved a little ahead before the second flash came so meanwhile what we see is that we will see this body and we will think that this body has only made a slight movement forward but the fact is that this body has made one full rotation and has moved a little bit forward but either way what we see is that this body is moving forward but with a slower frequency so during this point the body has made a full rotation and has moved a little forward this happens when the frequency of the rotating body is greater than the number of pulses so it is moving slightly more than one complete rotation during the flashing signals so i hope the working mechanism of the stroboscope and the stroboscopic method is clear stroboscopic effect is clear for you now try to understand more about these relations f equal to n 2n 3n n equal to f n equal to 2f and how these come try to understand more about all these situations i hope this working mechanism of a stroboscope is clear for you thank you